everybody, this is Katie from Tropical Looms, and today I'll be showing you how to create this really cool tie bracelet. And I know what you're thinking, there's already a bracelet called the tie bracelet, but I mean like P-I-E, not P-I, the way that humanity spelled it. This was created by me, and I just wanted to let you know, know that I did get a new profile picture. So today you will need any type of loom, a hook, one C-clip, and I recommend using two colors of bands so you get the kind of braid effect. So anyways, um, I recommend using two colors, and today I'll be using Caribbean green and glitter white, and these, this is one of my, this is my, this might be my favorite color combo because it looks really pretty to these colors, really pretty palette. And anyways, let's get started. And if in the video my camera shakes like this, I'm so sorry, I'm just trying to charge it. And when it charges for some reason, it likes to move. So anyways, let's get started with the bracelet. I just wanted to let you know that this is only a two row design. So if you need to, you can take out this pin bar. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna use it like this. So what you're first gonna do is you're gonna grab two bands. I'm gonna place them um, here, here to here. You can go either way. Next, you're gonna grab two curvy and green bands. Put them on this side. Do the same thing. Get create this before um, M's Loom Creation created the Swiss braid. So, yeah. I just wanted to let you know that. So. M this design is a little bit different. Not design. So I just wanted to let you know that. If you use like thicker bands, it'll, this bracelet will look really cool. Grab your hook, push back the cap band, grab this band. If you want different, well, yeah. So you're just gonna hook this band over here. And then, oh wait, sorry, it's not right. You're gonna hook it here. You're gonna hook it over here. So this makes the braid part. And then you're gonna put
think the moon is shaking. I just need to get in a more comfortable position because I'm doing this video on the floor. Anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your hook, push back this band, grab it and hook it over here. And then focus this. And then you're just gonna push back the cat band again, grab this band and hook it forward. And then you're gonna push back all three of these bands, grab the top band. Pull it, not to here, not to this pin that I'm pointing to, but to this pin. Then you're gonna hook this band up. And I'm sorry if you hear more background noises. Um, my family, uh, my sister um, hurt herself and now she's like struggling. And sorry, my mom doesn't really know that I'm making a video right now. But anyway, you're going to push back this band again. I'm gonna hook this band over here. And yeah, my mom's actually really mad. Right and again, she doesn't know that I'm making a video, so I'm sorry if you hear more background noises. Anyway, all the noise is gone. Well, anyway, you're gonna push back these bands. You're gonna grab this band, and then you're gonna hook it over here. And then you're gonna push back this band, and then hook it forward. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Sorry for the little interruption, but anyways, I'm gonna push back all three of these bands. I think it's all three. Yeah, it's all three. Or all four of these bands, sorry. You're gonna grab this band, and you're gonna hook it, not to this pin, but to this pin. You're gonna get pins. And then you're gonna push back this band, all the bands, and then grab this band and hook it forward. This is actually a quite easy design. And I wanted to let you know that the bracelet's reversible, so this is double single, and it's really cool on the inside. And I actually kind of messed up on this bracelet, because as you can see, um, the bright parts is not there. But I actually created this bracelet last year. <laughs> not like April of last year, but I'm just saying last year because last year, yeah, it was 2014. It, I, so I created it in like, no, never mind. I created this in January. I created this three or so months ago. And anyways, this this bracelet look, has a really cool look. And if you have two looms, you can make there are four bar pins. You can make this bracelet all the way. All the, all the way around the wrist. I really like the bracelet, but I'm not gonna make it all around. Because I'm really lazy. Just kidding, I'm not that lazy. I'm not that lazy. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go off camera to finish the length of my bracelet. If you do not understand uh, the bracelet pattern, rewatch the previous instructions. And I'm just going to show you a couple more times. So you're going to pull the band, not to this pin, but to this pin. You're always skipping one pin. You're not like, you're always stretching it at like two pins away from the pin that you're hooking it from, if you know what I mean. So let me show you now. So you're hooking in from this pin. So let's just pretend we're on this pin. One, two, so you're skip. Well, you're really skipping one pin. Oh, you're well. You're skipping the. You're skipping to the free pin. If you know what I mean. So it doesn't. Sorry, it doesn't have one of these across bands that we have on our hook right now. If you know what I mean. So, yeah. Sorry, I keep on saying that. But anyway. I'm gonna go off camera to finish the length of my bracelet. Please pause the video here and rewatch the previous instructions if you do not understand the bracelet concept. And yeah. When you finish the length of your bracelet, your loom should look like this. And there are a few bands up here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push back this band, grab this band, and instead of hooking it, like, there's no pin right here, so you're gonna hook it to this pin. Up. 
And what you're going to do with this is you can actually just hook it to this pin. Hook this band up. And what you're going to do is this is a little bit different. You're going to hook this band over here. You're going to hook this band over here for the ending. And then hook this band. What the hell? Huh? Oh, sorry. Something weird's happening. I'm going to go off camera for a second. Well, I just figured out what, the pro what was the problem. So you're just going to hook that band over here. And then you're going to hook this band up and sorry my hook just moved the camera so anyways what you're gonna do is you're gonna push back all these bands here I'm gonna hook these two bands here now you're gonna go through all these bands I'm gonna grab a glitter white I'm just gonna grab a glitter white because it's the closest color to me I'm just going to place it on this pin and stretch it out so that I can just... So what you can do is you can twist your hook so it doesn't... It the, I don't know what it needs. Uh, I don't know. Kind of I don't know what reduces. What it reduces. But it helps. So now you're just going to take it off your loop. This might take a little bit for me because I'm not really used to hook. Like on loom designs, and this one's really cool. Whoa, this one looks really pretty. The one that I did. Well, here's what it looks like. It looks really cool. You can start stretching it out. Won't well, affect the bracelet and it looks awesome. Mine looks really cool. Now I'm just gonna add an extension off camera. But anyway, uh, actually, I'm not gonna on add an extension after the video. But here's just what it looks like on the inside. But thank you for watching this tutorial on my pie bracelet and not P I pie, pie like that pie. But P I E as in that pie. So, anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial on my pie bracelet. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and check out my new vlog channel. Um, it's not really in progress right now, so I'll tell you when it is in progress. And if your bracelet looks, actually looks like this, you can like stretch it out. And sometimes it'll do. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video. And just remember to check out my new um, profile picture. So yeah, thanks for watching.